Hello there, I'm the Thirsty Bookworm, and today we're going to talk about the cream of the crop, and I'm going to get a lot of terrible puns out of the way. Today, I will be reviewing Mellow Corn. I hope you're all ears on this one, and don't think I've gone too corny. Make sure you stay tuned until the end for a leaked Mellow Corn release you will only find here. This is the Whiskey Talkin'. Mellow Corn is part of the Heaven Hill family and is distilled in Bardstown, Kentucky. It is a straight corn whiskey that is also bottled in Bond, James Bond. To meet the requirements to be straight corn whiskey, the mash bill needs to be at least 80% corn and, if aged, it must be done in a used or uncharred oak barrel, thereby ensuring it cannot cross into the realm that is bourbon. To meet the requirements of Bottled and Bond, James Bond, it needs to be distilled at one facility in one season by one distiller and aged for at least four years. Furthermore, it needs to be bottled at 50% alcohol by volume and 007 needs to have impregnated a woman in the Rick House during that same season. It also needs to be aged in a government warehouse, just like the rest of us. If you look at the bottle, you will see those comforting words that are a result of this tedious work, bottled in bond. You will also see an ugly label that looks like it was designed by Tito Tellers for use in a church play designed to scare kids away from alcohol. It looks like what a grocery store would sell as their generic brand of whiskey. Not only does it look like it was created to literally steer buyers to Heaven Hill's other products, it has a screw cap, a plastic screw cap. I'm genuinely surprised that the bottle isn't made of plastic. But not just any plastic. The super thin stuff that bulk water comes sold in, the kind that you can't even unscrew the cap without squishing the bottle and spilling just enough water on your crotch to make it uncomfortable when you have to drop your kid off at soccer. In summary, the bottle is lame, but I do respect it because it lets the whiskey do the talking instead of the marketers. So with that said, who the hell cares about the bottle? Let's hear what the whiskey has to say. The color is that of corn, golden corn, the fancy kind that gets used as decoration in your grandma's house around Thanksgiving and you're not allowed to touch and play with. Mellow corn's legs rate as Jethrine Bodine from the Beverly Hillbillies. That's on my scale from Lieutenant Dan to Dr. Frankenfurter. Heaven Hill's website says the nose is oak and delicate spice. My wife detects a fruit of some kind, like maybe apple or pear, definitely rubbing alcohol. Something floral, but I don't know what it is. While I personally found alcohol fumes, oak, okay, they actually had a pretty good nosing notes on this one. Not a lot. Taste. Full-bodied and textured with a softly spiced sweetness. Finish, sweet and chewy like Barbadian rum. At least, that's what the marketers say. I'm more inclined to say hot. It's got heat up front. It warms you up. It's also spicier than I expected. It's not really complicated, but it's hard to pick out any single note. It just kind of tastes like whiskey, but in a good way. I really wanted to taste corn. Sweet corn, roasted corn, popcorn, corn flakes. Hell, even corn nuts. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. So this bottle cost a whopping $13, I think. My brother was kind enough to grab a bottle for me from a neighboring state that allows its import. It's worth every penny of that. Hell, I'd even be willing to pay 14 maybe even $15 for a bottle. I certainly have gotten less from more expensive bottles. If you can find it on the bottom shelf of your liquor store, give it a try. Don't judge this book by its color. I mean, cover. I mean... A bottle by its label. I don't know. I'm going to rate this three out of six cookbooks. And now that you've waited patiently till the end, here is that mellow corn release you will only find here. (laughs) 